Hello, I'm Thomas Dill. I'm the founder and managing director of Got to Be Ethnic. Uh, we've just finished our third EDI together, our annual event that gets all the marketers uh, in the room to talk all about equality, diversity and inclusion. We've also had a challenge wall where the visitors were able to put some of the challenges on the wall and I've picked up a couple of cards just to go through them and to answer uh, some of the questions and challenges uh, that uh, us marketers have got. So how do we find the right community leaders who are willing to give up their time and efforts uh, to optimize our EDI work? It's a great question. Um, for over 16 years, um, we've been building our own community uh, leaders portal and getting others to do it. I think the most important aspect, first of all, is to reach out to your community, find out who's there and who are these people. Uh, these might be uh, people from a religious background, whether that's priests, imams, uh, it might also be police officers, uh, NHS workers, uh, who are always willing and always work with the community. If you can find and identify those people, um, you'll be able to get into their network of our individuals and then it's a matter of building a relationship with them, reaching out on a regular basis, letting them know what you're doing and identifying opportunities for you to work together. Um, another great place to reach out uh, and help some of the support from the community would be Facebook groups. There are hundreds and hundreds of different Facebook groups uh, full of different ethnic communities. Um, why not post some of the work that you do there and find out what they're thinking of it and how they can get involved too. It's a great and a question as well. I think the most important aspect is to, of course, to find out uh, initially who are the key people that you need to talk to and try to use their terminology, their language to talk to them. Um, it's about finding a balance together. Once you've got that balance, you can then start initiating some of those conversation and looking to get um, sponsors uh, internally of the work that you do, getting them to really fully be behind the work that you do and therefore then getting involved. So that would be my recommendation. Each one of the communities comes with its own nuances. Each one of those communities would have their own celebrations. And it's important for us uh, as individuals to identify what are those celebrations, how they celebrate it. And for us to work potentially with key people of influence, people in the community who are able to fill us on those aspects so that we're not only educating ourselves, but equally when we're talking to them and potentially engaging uh, during a key celebrator period, we know what they're going through. We understand how they're celebrating it so that we can be definitely inclusive from that perspective. A starting EDI journey isn't always very simple. It's a great move that you're already thinking about one-off campaign, or it cannot just finish there. It's not about a tick box, being happy to go back to your board and say, we've done something in the EDI space, we've targeted a specific group, and that's our job done. We need to keep the momentum going. We need to keep that conversation going. We need to continuously reach out to those communities, remind them about ourselves, about our product, our services, and how we can serve them. So it's about ensuring that this is, becomes a part of your overall marketing strategy, something that you dedicate just as much time as you do to any other marketing campaigns. It's not about one-offs. Those one-off will get you somewhere, will buy you some buy-in, but it's not going to be something that's going to get you in the front of mind of your customers at all times. So my suggestion is, is every time you're creating a new campaign, think about what element of that campaign could be dedicated to the ethnic minorities, how that can be done and what can you do. And there are simple things you can think about it. Some of the media, perhaps you're able to work with some of the dedicated media to the ethnic minorities and even run the same creative in that particular platform. Or it might be that you have a dedicated small part, portion of the budget that you will do something bespoke, something unique to that group, but will work as part of your wider campaign.